Welcome Trailblazers! Today, we'll be going over how to create a custom fiscal year. So to start, we need to get to setup. So we're going to click on the gear icon and then setup. And then from setup, we're going to type on the search bar fiscal year. In here is where we can manage and define the custom fiscal years. So there will be two options. One, the standard fiscal year. This is the one set by default that follows the Gregorian calendar year. The only thing you can define is the starting or ending month. And then there is the custom fiscal year, which you can customize according to your business financial structure. Now in this highlighted section, it's like a warning of things to consider before enabling custom fiscal years as it does affect a few things that we're going to briefly go over. So one, after you enable custom fiscal years, you cannot disable it nor revert back to the standard fiscal year functionality. But you can still use the standard structure by defining the custom fiscal year to follow the same Gregorian calendar structure as the sales for standard fiscal year. Secondly, enabling or defining custom fiscal years will impact your forecast, reports, and quotas if you have them already set up. So when you enable a custom fiscal year, all existing forecast, the forecast history, and the forecast adjustments from the year's first period forward will be deleted. So if those things were already configured, you will have to create them again. Ideally, defining the fiscal year structure um, the business is going to be using in the organization should be one of the first steps done when first setting up that org. That way you don't have to worry about having things created that could get broken later. And lastly, you cannot use fiscal period columns in opportunity, opportunity with product or opportunity with schedule and reports. So after reading the warnings, we are going to confirm that we are aware and we still want to enable it by clicking this checkbox. And here, confirm again. So in here, it's going to redirect me to classic for some reason, but I am just going to refresh here in Lightning. Okay. So here, we're going to click on new. This little pop-up it's going to show. So here will be the first selection, which is the overall structure of how many weeks per period and how many periods per quarter will make up our fiscal year. So we're going to select the 454 structure, meaning that they will be four quarters a year. And within each quarter, period one will have four weeks, period two, five weeks, and period three will have four weeks. So moving on, we are going to click next. And here we can further define the fiscal year and customize it. So first the start date, we want to start the fiscal year on December 1st. And for the year name by default, it will take the value of the year of the end date. So in this case, the end date will be August 2023rd. And we want the weekday to start on Monday. So in this example, our fiscal year will begin September 22nd and will end um, August 23rd. You do have to define your custom fiscal years every year. They are not automatically created. Another thing to keep in mind. So here in this advanced customization tab. So in here we can pick the quarters to be numbered by year and then pick between these prefixes. Or you can also do custom quarter names, which you can define later on when you save. And, and currently it's only set up for the seasons. So we're going to keep the years and we're going to pick um, fiscal quarters. You can do the same for periods. So for periods, you can choose for them to be numbered by a year or by a quarter. Or just use the standard month names. Which is what I want to do. And then the weeks we're going to pick. To number them by quarter which just means that the weeks will reset the number of weeks after each quarter so when the next quarter starts the next week will begin at week one again 
so it will go 1 through 9, 1 through 13 at the end of the quarter. The new one starts and it will start the numbering by 1 again. Um, and then in these columns, start and end date, you can preview what the dates will look like for the year. And then going further down in the reset settings. This is where you can change the structure of the fiscal year at any time if you need to. So you can see you can change the structure itself and you can set back to the standard 12 months a year. So we're going to click save. And here is our first created fiscal year. So in the custom fiscal year's names, you can create your customized prefix and naming choices if the ones available don't work for you. You have the option to customize them. And that is essentially all for creating a custom fiscal year. It allows for more customization than the standard fiscal year. Um, but just remember to be aware of what enabling custom years will affect in your organization, especially if you have forecasts and quotas already configured. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep placing the trails ahead.